This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. It's maybe contributed to the uh, the power surge lately for you. Uh, yeah, it was just a few adjustments in my swing, something I can kind of battle on with all year. Uh, you know, I finally felt like I, you know, turned that curve, and uh, and it feels a lot better. So. And Hagan, he's been so dominant this year. Just what did you make of his outing today? I mean, he still had 11 strikeouts in five innings. What did you make of him? Yeah, I just think it's funny. You asked when he had five innings, 11 strikeouts, still a great outing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he threw the ball well. His stuff was really good. Um, you know, he just can't be perfect every time. So, Hey, Hudson, from your vantage point, what was behind the, the lack of command tonight, the walks, the, the hit batsman? Man, I don't know. I don't know if we really did anything different. You know, we had our same game plan, same training. Uh, I think it's just we're so used to, uh, you know, everyone going out there and dominating that, you know, when it's not exactly dominant, uh, you know, you start asking questions. But, I mean, they're going to be fine. I have no doubt. In when Will got that, uh, I think he struck Jordan out to end the top of the eighth and he kept it a one-run game. And, and then all of a sudden you guys come back and you score. I mean, what, what was the mood like in the dugout there between innings and, and – Maybe how did that whole process go for you? Yeah, it was definitely big. Um, I think all of our guys really have a lot of trust in each other. Um, and all year, I think we responded when other teams scored. So um, we were just staying up and staying positive and trusting that uh, everybody was going to come through. Jared, Dave was up here saying that when you first got here, they saw a lot of video of you pulling balls, and now you're not pulling the ball as much, and they're shifting maybe a little bit less as well. Is that something mechanical that you've made, or just kind of as the seasons progress, how's the, you've seen that change? Yeah, definitely. Coach Thompson has done a great job just working with me all, all season, and I've definitely made that a point of emphasis. And then Hudson, you've talked about how good Hagen has been before. I guess how good did it feel as an offense just to pick him up that he allowed three runs? Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, no, it was a uh, it was a big boost of confidence. Um, you know, I'm proud of the way we all swung it tonight. Um, you know, and ho- hopefully this is a sign of what's to come. Gage, you came into that uh, top of the ninth with the bases loaded, nobody out. Uh, how were you feel? Just kind of take me like a play by play of what was happening and how you're feeling in that moment. You know, I just kind of told myself that this was the moment I've dreamed about since I committed here. And, you know, I, I've I've been in those positions before. And tonight I, I pulled through and uh, we got it done. But, I mean, I was just listening to fastball middle from Hudson White right here. And uh, it worked out. Gage, uh, you uh, pitched really well last week, and then there was talk of maybe you potentially starting a game. Just were you hopeful that you would get a start? And like, how, what was your emotions? Whatever they told you, hey, we're going to keep you out of the bullpen. And and what was just what was that like for you? Uh, really, I just wanted to do what was uh, best for the team and whatever the coaches thought was best. And that was the bullpen, and that's why they're coaches, and they made the right call. You know, for either of the hitters, uh, I think this is kind of this is one of the first nights where you guys have had some good offensive performances, but it's usually come with a good pitching performance. This is one of the first times maybe the pitching a little average and you guys really come through. Do you think the bats, the offense as a whole, maybe needed a night like this uh, to kind of progress the rest of the season? I mean, I think it was. uh, Yeah, I mean, I think it was great. It was a good boost of confidence. Um you know, just to be able to go out there and score seven on a Friday. You know, I thought it was really good for us. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can keep it going. Jared, uh, DBH has kind of talked about you developing as a hitter this year and, you know, being better at going the opposite way. Uh, how do you feel like your, you know, development's gone? I mean, was there a turning point maybe where you felt extremely, maybe more and more comfortable as the season's gone on? Yeah, uh, this game's pretty much just up and down, up and down. And it's just... A lot of hours in the cage is grinding, um, and a lot of time spent with my teammates hitting. Um, and I think uh, as of late, it's been going pretty well. Would you, would you have believed someone if they would have told you, you'd, you know, at the end of the year, a big SEC series, you're hitting hitting third for these guys when you, you know, committed to Arkansas and got to school here? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's what you dream of for sure. Um, yeah, I've envisioned it. Um, I just want to make sure everybody else envisions it for well. Hey, Gage, there was a stretch where it wasn't going great for you. What was the turning point? What's led to the success the last couple of weeks? Confidence. What leads to that? 
countless hours of work and just believing in yourself and really just laying in bed, just thinking about like being in positions like that, you know? And then uh, maybe you or Hudson can uh, talk about this, but a lot, a lot of pitchers from both sides were throwing a lot of balls back tonight toward the dugout. Maybe they didn't like the way they were rubbed up. I mean, was that something that either of you noticed or was that discussion among the pitchers? Yeah, I noticed it a little bit. Um, that's the first time we've ever had, you know, any problem like that. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, you know, we do a great job rubbing up balls and stuff. So it was just a little fluke. Gage, I noticed you brought your glove in here. Do you, do you sleep with it also? What's what's up with that? No, no, I don't sleep. I don't sleep with it. I, uh, I was just down out there on the field, and uh, I just came up here, and it was in my hand. <laughs> when you uh, your warm up tosses, I think at least one was was high, as fired up as you get. Do you have to, sometimes have to kind of amp yourself down? You know, when it's time to throw the first pitch. Uh, no, usually. On that cue, uh, I just I got out in front of my body a little bit and my arm dragged behind. So I just kind of had to sit in my lower half a little bit longer to get it back down. So. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.